Okay, this is the warm up matches before we get into analyzing, evaluating the recent over the board games and the last four online games in readiness for the tournament. The under 1950 major section tournament, first time I'm ever going into the major section. We have a target of one win or two draws. We're playing four games. We've got a buy in the third round. So we're hoping to try and have a really good time and um, see if we can meet the little targets that we've got set for ourselves. So just doing these warm up matches before we dive in. I'm gonna put a check on the king. Got a bit of space there. I'm gonna take the bishop off the board. And is there anything better before we go on castle? I feel like just going castling and seeing how the land lies from there. Nice, got a position here, defending the pawn as well. Let's just support the pawn a bit more. It's tempting to just jump in here. I don't really have a problem with that type of position, so I'm just gonna go with it. I don't really, I don't have a problem with it. Takes, just pushing here. Yep. So the start targeting it, knight moves or something comes here or comes here. And so they push that pawn to sort of block this, pawn, um, block this pawn from coming up here. So we'll just bring this here so we can get it supported. And we can still push there, it goes on pass on. And we can bring the bishop here before that happens. Let's bring the bishop here so they know what's happening we can push it's probably still going to get the pawn because he still does on pass on bishop takes and he takes okay so they know what they're doing they saw that all the way from back then and they've got the little system set up and they're now plus one but is it plus one with an improved position that's the key question you could be plus two plus three but have you really worked your pieces together to do a little bit more damage on the board? I'm going to take and then take the bishop. Yep. So again, they're taking pieces off the board, but it's to me it's an even exchange because we've still got the same amount of pieces on the board. They will say they're up the exchange because they have won the rook. But the rooks are only any piece that you've got is only as powerful as the person who is playing that piece did that make sense it made sense in my head yeah let's bring the queen here their queen's probably looking to come round the back sorry to here to attack this pawn try to do a dance putting checks on the king So they've actually gone defending, which obviously means the queen is going to be coming down here at some point. So what do we have? Anything? We've got a nice flexible knight that can jump around a bit, but by the time we get there, the queen, queen's going to be here, rook will be here. So do we just make some space for our king? Not necessarily that pawn because that pawn is supporting the knight. So just make some space for the king because we know it's coming down here at some point is the queen. Right, so could bring the rook up now just to balance out. But if it is coming here, it'll just attack the rook. Ah, I'm doing that anyway. Knight's defending the rook at the moment. Maybe get the king to a little bit of safety here. So at the minute it's not got the full power of the rooks working because they're just flat flat lined on the back. So they're attacking our pawn, takes, takes. Don't see that being a problem. Can we do something magical? 
Move the knight. Queen comes down, attacks the rook. Queen is pretending, protecting the rook. Move the knight down, he just takes anyway. Then we take, and he's looking for back ranky. Attack here, king comes here. Queen's got a nice spot here. Yeah, and he'll still be on the knight. Yeah, little trickster. Little trickster. Right, okay. So we know that type of picture. Attack, pawn takes. Is it? No, that's not going to work. Queen takes here. No, that's not going to work because the knight will be overloaded. Right, what else do we have? Any fancy pushes? Simple captures, rook takes, doubles up. Simple capture might be, might do it. Simple capture might do it. What else do we have? Mm -hmm. Leave takes, rooks down, king here. That's the spot that they want. We can't push this pawn. So he's hunting the knight, isn't he? So we maybe just move the knight or the queen comes down to protect. And it stops the queen from coming here. But then it is giving them this pawn situation. Let's bring the queen down. If he takes, takes. Still got this square here with the queen. Dun, 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 dun. But now we're protecting the knight so we can push the pawn onto the queen if it comes there. Might not go there, might go where else can it go? It's not gonna go there, the knight will take it. So it's come down anyway with the queen. With a check. Let's just move the king. So I move back up again. Looking for this square. But we can do that. So do we do that first? Because we know the take takes gonna happen and the rook was looking to do this. Does he have some sort of fancy attack on the queen? Is he gonna double up the rooks? And then attack the queen somehow. No, I think they're going to be focused on trying to get these promoted, are they? Does take take? Queen can take. Does it change the picture at all? No, let's just take. This pawn is under some serious, going to be under some pressure, probably. And this pawn, probably as well. Sits here. Gets there. We do have a two on one here ourselves. Yeah, so a little bit clever this player. Oh, yeah. So they're just coming for the. Yeah, so they're going to have to think of either how they're going to support this pawn because this route's going to come here. But we've got a two on one here we take. And they're not going to be bothered about that. Queen comes down and attacks the rook or something. Flexible knight. Get it working. Can always bring the rook here to defend. Don't really want to do defense nanny because the queen can take. Push. Takes. Take, check. It's not going to take though, it's going to push past. Going to push past. So the queen is not going to take. But then if he pushes past, we take the queen. Let's push.
does take. I wonder if the calculation works. Check. Check. So we're a minor piece up. We can take. It's going to be trying to chaperone this down. This is one of those savouring the moment situation, not rushing it now. And it has this pawn that's going to chaperone down, but we do have a minor piece extra. So we don't want to lose out. The rook could come down and attack both pawns, so he can't defend both. But then he comes and hits the knight with his pawn. So we have to move. So then we come here, we're defending the pawn. His rook comes down, attacks the knight. That's a lot of jumping around, isn't it? I think we can take the pawn. If we attack the pawn from this side here, it's not immediately going to be attacking the knight because the pawn can take. But I can think that this pawn is going to hit. Which it does do. There's no checkmate checks on the king. We can double up the attack on the pawn, but we're not going to go here. Could go here, but it moves further down. But then the rook can take it. But we go there, his rook's just going to attack us, but then we can go here. Right, okay. Attack the pawn twice. Rook attacks the knight, knight takes, but then the rook comes across and x rays through to the knight. To the rook. It's coming for a check on the king. Do we need to rush that? Can we go here? Come across. Pushes the pawn we take. Don't give a pawn up if we don't need to. Gonna take with the rook. Well, they've got a bit of a fighting chance because we've just got a knight, but it's better than nothing. And let's attack the pawn. Mm -hmm. See if we can squeeze it up and up and up. That's the king cart gum here. And go one. But it's too late. Can't stop the attack on the pawn. Coming round for this pawn here, but it's going to be too late. Oh, excellent. We get a resignation. Let's develop the other knight. Oh, it's going to get hit. So let's just bring this pawn here if it does attack. Just bring the bishop, get ready for castle in. We could get embrawled in, trying to attack the queen. It's got space here to attack the queen, but we're not doing that just yet. We will castle. And we'll attack the queen just for a brief moment and bring it back if it gets attacked. We are on this pawn, looking for a fork. No, it's gone back. This pawn, but the knight is protecting. Get the bishop. Attacking the knight. Wants to get rid of our knight. Can we always bring the knight back? I don't think there's any fancy maneuvers. Let's bring the knight back. Just bring it in here, attacking the knight. Let's get the queens off the board. 
fakes, queen takes, rook takes. Doesn't, let's um, prevent the castle in them. Let's attack the queen. And shall we just attack the queen and get king again? Put a check on. King's coming into the center of the board, white square. Put a check on the king. What's going on the dark square here? Don't think we have anything else after that. There's no secret rook move here. Nope, can't see it. So let's move the bishop out of the way. Could keep the x-ray, but the pawn's just going to drop down. So we might as well just bring the bishop back. So it feels nice, but they still do. They have plenty of play. Could get pawns here. They've missed that opportunity, so we will... Stop, stop the knight from jumping there. And if we take... Bishop's coming for a pawn here. So we're going to take... And then we'll take with the rook. Just in case. And then we'll attack their bishop. But I think the pawn is just going to drop. So we do have space to be able to bring our bishop back. Is there anything else? Dark square bishop. Nope. Let's attack the bishop. So currently plus one after all that. I think they're not wanting to get... Oh, ah, they're attacking the rook. Interesting times. So we can just move the rook back. Really want to keep it so that we've got space to double the rooks. So let's try and do that and see if we can get the rook here. That's a clever maneuver. Uh, oh, do you know what? Bishop could have taken with a check on the king. Would have won a tempo. One thing I've got to stop doing, that's focusing so much on the one thing, you know, the main thing that's happening on the board. Ah, so we can take the bishop off the board, rook takes, then we can double the rooks. Or we can put a check on the king first and get his bishop off the board or something. Is there anything fancy? Nope, don't think there's anything fancy. So he's not going here, so yeah, to, to take the bishop. Take the bishop. Attack his rook. I did this in the uh, over the board game and the <laughs> evaluation said, don't be bothering doing that. Attack the rook. Rook moves out of the way. Then we get the bishop for free, but that's not going... Yeah, that might happen, you know. No, he's going to go there, isn't he? Uh, we get the bishop for free, but not really, because he gets our bishop. Is there a check on his king at all? No, there isn't, is there? Ooh, good try, good try. Good try, yeah. Take, rook takes. Bishop comes back, puts a check on the king. Take, check on the king. Double, attack. Oh, they've moved out of the way. They've got a bit of cleverness, even though there's things. Let's go check. Loose pawn here. Giving up pawns. Don't be giving up pawns. Don't be giving up the pawns. Come on, that's it. Okay, king's in some sort of special area. Oh, if we did this, I don't think we're going to be fast enough, you know. If we did this and then we go there, that's checkmate. Ush. Lovely. Okay, so this is the first over the board game, um, the friendly OTB five minute zero increment blitz um, match. And as I've probably mentioned before, um, these matches definitely friendly, friendly matches. There's nothing serious about them in any way, shape. Um, just playing these games because um, just looking at my chess health, just to see if 
the standard flow, the quality of the movements is, is still there. There's nothing major I can do about any changes now before the talk, the over the ball tournament. And um, so all it was was just like flicking moves out, playing against a, a really strong player and um, just having some fun with it. Let's just warm up and have a good feel for the games, have a bit of coffee and just um, some some good chat and get through them and really enjoyed them. So this one was the five minute game. So we're looking now to see if we can put some pressure on this little weak pawn here next to the king. And we've got like nice diagonal potential going through here. Also putting 201 on this pawn here, the queen is defending. So the support with the pawn and we hit their bishop. Because at this minute and now that pawn is being relinquished. And we can bring the knight into the centre and just look to trade off now at this point. It's looking glorious for us at one point there, but really that's no big shakes. <clears throat> I'm fairly happy. I'm thinking this looks like it could be a draw. Um, time wise, obviously, though, it is a five minute game. And that I was basically treating each game like it was a long play game because that's what I'm tra that's what these games were for. I'm just training for longer play. I was trying to look at the quality of my game um, under a bit of pressure in the friendly format. And at that point, obviously, my time ran out. But health check wise for the chess movements, I thought I feel very very happy with this, and so. Oh, it made me feel, oh, I'm, I'm kind of ready to actually go in there into this under-1950 OTB tournament and face these monsters of chess. Okay, so this is the second game in the over-the-board friendly, and this is the start of the 10-minute games. So this is like the minimum of the long play games that I would play, but ordinarily I'm online, I can move a lot faster online because all I'm doing is swishing around a mouse. Um, so it's different when you're playing over the board because uh, you have to move the piece and you have to do the clock but then also the visuals as well and you do have atmospherics as well so it's about the position on the board now this bit here yeah it's um bringing the knight back it's giving them minus 2.3 so if they had seen this you know over the board then they probably would have got an advantage so it's minus three at this minute but then they captured and at this point in time i'm think. Even when I did the night move and stuff, I didn't feel that it was a negative in any way, shape. It was a matter of just jostling, knowing full well that potentially I'm going to be able to block the pawn and support the pawn with my bishop and get the king up and support. And it's just going to be a merry little dance. But again, I didn't feel like there was any minuses anywhere. Um, I felt fairly okay with the position on the board. It was just a matter of knowing which piece to move and then at that point then obviously my um, clock ran out and I think we did play afterward did play it through after um, but it still ended up being like a drawish type thing uh, this game was where the trouble started <laughs> There's always going to be one game where the focus isn't right there and um, move orders are wrong, etc. And key thing was, let's have a look. So we bring the rook across here and then the knight jumps here and then we touch the bishop and we went to grab the knight and then realised, oh, if we take that knight, then they take... The rook has got a pin through to the uh, king. So we lose the queen. At that point, we resigned. Yep. So really good educational game for myself. Fantastic. From the greedy munching queen. Yep. So the lovely attack on the queen, getting this beautiful position all set up, ready for us. Fantastic position. We didn't even have to work for it. The opponent gave us this. So this is why it's going to stick in my head. 
you know the opponent gave us this beautiful position thinking that they're actually winning with the three pawns up etc and i'm there telling them well you haven't developed your pieces etc so you're in trouble but i just didn't take the appropriate moves just take that moment a little bit more to not look at the cheap little pawns but look at the improving the position on the board this is the last game that we played over the board and just a quick review of it and captured captured all pretty straightforward this game is like uh, it reminds me of the first first second and the and this game obviously <laughs> where the, the players seem to just play itself. It positions were really quite nice. And looking at the blind spots, the potential attacks that the opponent was going to put on us felt really fair and neat. So I don't really have anything bad to say about it. So it's still drawish anyway. They captured and then we captured. And then we agreed, basically, there's nothing more to do, really, in this situation. So, up and down game, but when you've got two humans playing, you're going to see loads of missed opportunities throughout the game. So, really happy with that. Um, in the before, just before the time scramble, and then when my time ran out, very happy with that position there. And then the after game movements were okay up until that point where i missed taking the uh, knight off the board yeah so they moved their palm we should have just taken the knight here so little things like that it's that tunnel vision thing focusing so much on you know i'm thinking i need to get my knight around yeah so i envisaged wherever it started from i got it from there to there to there i pictured that it was going here no matter what but I didn't actually look at the full picture of this here and then the rook taking because all I was doing was tunnel visioning my movements. The knight's going here, 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 here. But the picture had changed. So I need to learn to do the change of picture when I'm doing my calculation because the picture is not always the same. Lovely game. Nice little friendly batch of um, chess games there and we're going to move on to the last four online games that we've played and um yeah then we'll close up shop okay this is the first of the last four games that we played it's eight minute zero increment games playing as white and just take a quick whistle stop to off through just to see if there's any major areas of concern i think in this last four i'm feeling really quite good about the development that we've created so far so i don't think there was anything majorly wrong with anything but we're just going to see if there's any major dips or concerns don't want to labor over anything okay so got straight into the advantage and trying to maintain the advantage all based off of the recent practice that we've been doing so we're trying as our best to practice what we've learned. And yeah, so that was pretty straightforward. Okay, playing as black in this one. Again, just flicking through just to see. Well, as I said, we've done, to me, we've done all the practice that we can do in terms of analysis, evaluation. These last four games were just really to practice those and see if we can improve our chess health up to a level that we're confident or well, happy with and i think these games came out fairly okay in terms of consolidating that practice and knowledge i did feel like i was playing slightly differently which was a little bit more focused on doing the right thing <laughs> that sounds so so basic but uh, this one ended up being a draw which is good that's fine because they they were plus one but there was really no way through so i'm happy i'm quite happy with that all right and um let's just have a look see if there's okay 
practice because it can be quite difficult being very critical of your own games um let's have a look at that because it went had a bit of a is it saying taking the saying the queen taking yeah but i was th i was thinking when i'm taking the queen he's going to be plus one still take the queen Knight takes oh for crying out loud get the bishop for free oh oh Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Wow, this is why we do evaluation. This is why we do evaluation. Excellent. Right, okay. Yeah, well, that'll stay straight in, obviously. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway, we're cracked on. Improved the position. But we're, ha we're having to work a lot harder. Okay, and the rest is pretty straightforward. It's position. Yeah, look how hard we're having to work now. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't have had to work this hard if we had just done that. Simple exchange. Nice one. Lessons learned. Okay, this one. I... had a little kind of concern that there was some kind of strange taste in my mouth um, during this game and it just wouldn't go away I, I just kept thinking I don't know something doesn't feel right here um, but I carried on playing anyway and just tried to see if I could play the best that I could so I'm trying to find the best positions So it felt half decently okay, but in my head I'm thinking I've got a very nasty, nasty taste in my mouth, and I just can't get it out of my out of my mouth. Time was running down, and at this point I was thinking I felt like I was playing the over the board games where I was like going, oh well, I'll just take my time and just see what happens, and and I overthought. Well, didn't overthink. I was just taking my time because I was thinking, well, I don't really stand a chance here. Something doesn't taste right. Um, by that time, I'd overthought everything, and I'm like thinking, oh, my time is running out here. I was down to 0 0.1 seconds or something here. And what is it saying? Oh, going down with the queen to the top. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was a bit exasperated after this. I'm like thinking, damn, this is not tasting good. And then we captured and then basically ran out of time. But on looking back on the game, very happy with my positioning. Uh, even if it didn't taste well, uh, very happy with my positioning in the game. So for long play type thinking, type strategies, planning, etc., um, I felt this game again didn't feel too bad at all so in preparations for the tournament over the board i'm feeling confident that at least i've done what i can do in terms of developing and practicing and trying to iron out um, some of the weaknesses that have occurred so that's it really that's the whole all we've done pattern training we've done real over the board training we've done online training and we've evaluated, assessed, and taken action on the evaluations and the assessments. There's no more that you can ask. Apart from now, going and enjoying the over the board under 1950 major section tournament. I'll see you after the tournament.